Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're back. We're ready to save the world of Atlantis. It's gonna be great. I think. Do we, do we, do we have audio? <clears throat> I hear. I mean, Hello? I know. I know I have audio for you, but the game seems quiet. Oh, okay. It does. Well, it's dramatic. It's a dramatic silence, Sean. Just or like maybe not. Yeah, I don't dramatic know. Pause. I, what is this? <sighs> Did you wait? You were going? No, no. We want to. Oh. By the way, I opened my second beer. It's the I'll nine beer. This is a not is quite good? pale ale. I don't know. I don't know. Here he goes. It has a smell to it. Okay, that's good. It's a good start. It has a smell to it. it tastes exactly Come like the other one. What? How? Is this just they put the same thing in different bottles? What? Yeah, huh? <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to walk Wait, through this. Oh, Jesus. There's so many doors, Sean. This I actually like because I feel like this is a puzzle where I can learn. I know. I, feel like... I agree. I don't disagree. Oh. It's, it's been. This game has gone on for so long. <laughs> Whoops. What does that mean? Whoops. Is that bad? Did you? Is that, that a, a bad door? Is, is this a problematic whoops? Because it seems that I've made progress. This is a Benny Hill sketch, isn't it? But it's done to dramatic music and with lava, Bill. I don't hear any music, dude. Jesus, need, okay, so... You need to open your ears, Bill, because I'm hearing some MIDI very quietly. Very, very quiet MIDI. Uh, to be fair, one of the last puzzles in Quest for Glory 1 is exactly this puzzle. So are we going to have to write down where these different doors go? Maybe. I'm, I don't know. I think, I think I'm accidentally nailing this shit. It I does think... seem like you're doing a good job. I mean, if... If the goal is to progress to the right, which it always is, which it always is, as a video I'm game gone. theorist, I'm <laughs> gone. I don't. I'm not real anymore. Oh, here I am. I'm you're, back. You're imaginary. You're an imaginary Jones. Imaginary Jones and the fate of the stairs to nowhere. Oh, okay. Ugh, go to the hexa hexadecimal so, land. I, I want to try to come out this door. <laughs> the lava? Is that? Go to the larva. <laughs> There it is. Yo, oh, Jesus, Sean, you're so good at this. God, come on, Sophia, hurry up. Sophia, you're compressing right before my eyes. <laughs> Sophia. Sophia. Why, why are you so slow? All right. Hmm. Is it just going to change? All right. Nope. Nope, that did nothing. That looks the like a world stone on that wall, my friend. I mean, that's like, what I thought it was. Yeah, I thought but it, you don't have an inventory. I thought it was like a sunstone, a moonstone, a world stone. Guys, look at our HUD. Look at how little HUD we have. Oh, We're Jesus, hudless. kitties, don't eat the... No! Kitties, no! <laughs> All right. Anything that's a cord, the kitties are like, this is a toy. What? Uh-uh. Uh-oh. Jehovah spelled with an I. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. All right. Well, you're... Oh, they did it. They did it. They did it. They did it. They made you go back. They made you go back. I love how there's no tension because it actually physically stops me. It's true. Yeah. It's like I no can't go there. Up. I wouldn't go there. What? The I think you have oh. to go through the doors. Oh god, yeah. it's just a Oh, it's some yeah. sort of what? what? Wait, what? Oh. Huh. huh? I can't go there. It's a state I can't state go there. Machine. <clears throat> no, it's not state. Okay, so okay, it's so a, this... uh, every time it's a new rando puzzle. Is it though? I don't know. Wait, I think when I move forward, it deletes the thing in front of me. So if I move forward, it should delete this one. So if I move forward, it should oh, delete this fuck. one. So if oh, I move forward, it should delete this one. Puzzle. And then if I move forward, it deletes this you one. Totally got the this. flickety, the flickety flam. Sophia, P.S. Get toasted. There's no way you can cross. Are you coming? Hold your horses. Just do a backflip over the whole I'm thing. I'm so excited to see the AI Please solve it, this Sophia. puzzle. I, I, I bet you that this was one of the most complex things the entire game was trying to write. Oh, thanks for showing us the easy path. God damn it. <sighs> nice I hate moves. Me. Oh <laughs> my god. Thank you. Nice moves. So let me, let me make sure I understand their relationship. We have been vicious to each other, particularly yeah. in the last episode. We kissed once. 
And then we largely ignored her until we removed a ghost demon that had possessed her by throwing yep. it into apparently a thing called a calcified lava pit of skeletons. Yep. 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 Or, uh -huh. or lava I pit think of calcified after this, skeletons. Yep. After this adventure, they're gonna get bad married. <laughs> bad married. What is what is bad married? It's when you have to start a bad marriage. <laughs> It's not it's not a catchphrase, it's just an awful thing. Here's your shining city. It's just really sad for several years. No, I expected, that's for sure. It's wait, it's what, what I expected. The is still humming. They're inside Making of a the pinball machine. Untold century. <laughs> it's uh, does he say really? that he has to fart or <laughs> Yeah, it, I, I really think that, that is that's one of the things that you wouldn't say. You wouldn't say, look at the air pressure after all these centuries. I feel like you might want to say, holy fucking shit, a palace on top of fucking lava. Right? Yeah. Like, yep. uh -huh. Sophia, Jesus Christ, Sophia, are you seeing this? That's what I feel like you might say, as opposed to, look at the air pressure. They must have had <laughs> an amazing ventilation oh. system, Sophia. I mean, that is kind of manlike, though, isn't it, to just talk about the HVAC? Like, oh, yeah, it must be a... Look at that air pressure. Oh, look at these. There's these a, guys are just oh, like rooting for you oh, so hard. Spindle. I learned that. Oh, look at that it's smiling frog. Is it? Look at the. Uh, it's a bear hug. Go give the statue a bear hug. Do yeah. it. <laughs> Figure out which one's the Colossus and just fill it with beads. <laughs> You're gonna yeah, have to go me. back and get more beads. It's gonna be fantastic. Hold on, I, just I love got... that he typed everything in that book and then he just signed Charles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hermocrates. <laughs> okay. Somebody keeps saying save, please. I don't What's, know if that's a Twitch saying. Is or this if he wants final us to save the game? Is this Kappa. A... <laughs> Kappa. Final entrance yielded only to contrary minds? They argue hey. with her. Yeah. Hey. What? What? Hot enough for you? <laughs> it, it, we can find Atlantis, or we can accidentally kill a Nazi guard with a hot air balloon. You will know that we will have no emotion other than wry snark. <laughs> like... Is it... Is it just me, or is the writing in this game, like, getting progressively worse? And I want to talk about this when we get to mostly talking. Let me... I don't know, okay. Okay. Alright. Yeah. I'll be alright for a few minutes. Let me... let me just save. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. One time! One time, dealer! It's a receptacle for the stone discs. Use a, it's a stone disc with use solar images a carved into sunstone it. with a spindle. Use a world moonstone with a spindle. Use the world stone with a moonstone. Use the sp world stone. It's always the same surprise Con little spindle. Wait, 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 contrary minds. Or did we already do the contrary minds thing? Was that the entrance to the to Atlantis? Yeah. Where it's such a bad puzzle that we're not sure if we have actually used that hint yet. <laughs> All right, let me do noon sun, new moon, with that. That didn't do anything. Well, why don't you stay on the screen so I don't have to keep going back here? Good job, Indy. Oh, shit, I hit the wrong Still thing. Nothing. Let me stop exiting the screen, Indy. Stop exiting the screen. Nothing again. What's well Nothing alone? again. Oh, wonder. What's well alone? Oh, is that a hint? Are you giving us a hint for the first time in the whole fucking game? Wait, wait, let me use, let me, let me look at the lost dialogue of Plato. Uh. Wait, wait, what does, what does <sighs> well aligned mean? Hmm. One of those are the calls for the carved string device of amber to search for metal only, only prevalent in every real supply. Called kingdom wealthy, surely absurd. I want to see the waters rose Atlantis. Uh, knowing mortal, they planted a huge colossus who, back to this page. <laughs> Final entrance yielded only to contrary minds. What is there? Are we? I feel like we're missing something. Let me abandon our world stones for a moment. Why are Frog you not statue. moving? Why are you not moving? Maybe this is the it. This is all like the the room literally cuts off right there. There's nothing else. Anything. It's void. Well, but there's there's a frog there. No. 
A frog that looked like he wanted some beads in his mouth. Okay, we have some tall horns. We have some tall horns with a rising sun. I'm gonna put the waning moon. I'm gonna put the west sea in there. I'm gonna hit it. Still nothing. This Guys, looks like didn't something work. you'd buy in Santa Fe. The middle one, the the earth stone, I don't really understand the symbols on it. It's Wait got here. a temple on one side and a mountain on the other side, right? Okay, but hurry. I don't know, man. Can we just wander around? Can we just like go places? <laughs> go on. Can we? Maybe we need to go back to the U boat. <laughs> Lucas, oh! Lucas! Oh man! Oh, I want to figure it out so badly. What about this way? Nope. All right. Wait, dude. I have the feeling. Wait a minute. Just need to align your stones properly. I, yeah. Can we, okay, okay, wait a minute. Sean, Watch this. Wait. Out, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the wall. Look at the wall. Look That's the what I was wall. thinking. It's gonna tell you where your stones go. Oh, but you have to walk across stupid land first. Do we really? Do we You're gonna have to really? do the ma magical puzzle. All right, hold on. It's okay. So it's uh, the lava without a sound because they ran out of ram. They didn't have no, any space no, no, on you, the disc. You douche. Okay, here. Do it. Do I it, need Indiana. To go here and it kills go that. Go in here. the fucking. Go <sighs> down, Indy! The bottom one, Indy! Indiana blown. Indiana groans. Indiana blown. Hmm. Is it possible for them to make this a one way puzzle? Probably. Mr. Math Major. <laughs> Mr. Me. It is possible they're trying to send us on an Eulerian tour. <laughs> Ooh, uh, an Eulerian tour. I haven't done one of those since 1922. <laughs> it's. Oh, yes, when Euler was in his band, I loved attending and being a roadie <laughs> for an Atlantean tour. Or an there, Eulerian. So right. Oh, shit. Okay, alright. The full I sun. Used to call what him the Euler. fuck does that mean? So there's a. I think it's Volcano on the right. This is a little bit, and the sun's a little bit. Here, let me print screen just in case. So full oh, sun. Right. Da, 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 da. Yeah, but the, the sun and the moon are in weird places. Aren't they always? Yeah. Hmm. Ain't that the truth? That, Indiana blown in the, the temple truth. of... Yeah. Well, we're so screwed. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're not screwed, screwed hype. Sean. You oh! Got this one time. One time, that's why that's the save game spot. Okay, yeah. come on. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. We can seriously find the end of this game, and we can punch a Nazi. That's the reward that Indy gets kitties. You stop that's playing by the router, right? Okay, the kitties might turn off the internet very <laughs> soon, guys. The cats have a ball. It's bot. Hold on. Let me just. I'm going to move the ball. Hold on. Okay. Where's your ball? I thought that was the cat's yes. job. Find anything? Here, kitties. Oh, uh, fucking fascinating. That Sean, uh, attack. Can you control yes. this game? They're like little horses, stampeding Sean? to get the ball with beads inside of it. Sean is gonna wake up one morning and his computer's just gonna be sixty percent eaten by cats. Okay, right. wait. Don't worry. We had vol volcano. Uh, we had. Hey, I think I want to start a, a hacker. Um, a hacker drinking place called the Progress Bar. Is this, is it, do we do it? Oh shit, that's right. Yes, yes. What did you do now, Nick? Turn, turn it on. on the music. Thanks I think I turned it on. Fantastic. Mood lighting. What? You see, I oh, you hit the Nazi button. God damn it. Every They've been time. watching from behind your back this whole time. I smell the rat. The music is so loud. What? Don't move. My God, how beautiful! Punch the Nazi doctor. Mm. Congratulations, Doctor Jones. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn to celebrate its ultimate victory. 
He sounds like that More Muppet than a pure <laughs> from Pigs yeah. in Space. He sounds like the gremlin from Gremlins that hasn't turned into a gremlin yet. The little... <laughs> the gods don't need phones. The gods don't need phones. I want that engraved in something. Astonishing machinery was used for. To blow up gods? Is that... I have an intimidating voice. Central power station. Religious just, ceremonies. Holiday, holiday barbecues. barbecues. I want to be holiday a straight lace. Gizmo, that's what it is. Take me higher. It's a factory. For manufacturing higher beings. Higher beings. Okay, all right. And now we have all we need. I didn't say Andy said it was the greatest moment in history, Doctor. Well, because it's about to happen. <laughs> it was really kind of happen right now. Uh, uh, yeah, did, did, are you going to turn into crabs? Yeah, really. Huh? Did you notice all I'm sorry, Sean. I, I should have done the other one. No, that's, that's fine. That's, that's, that's about right. Unworthy slaves sacrificed in the name of knowledge. Progress has its price, you know. Okay, why don't you use the Atlantean god machine and we'll stand over here covering our eyes. Ah, I like the way you're thinking, Dr. Jones. <laughs> Maybe they were all too human, like you. <laughs> I hate humans. Oh, <laughs> They were destroyed by their physical imperfections. And they stayed in the world. Where is that? They had no physical imperfections. I know. They had webbed feet. Humans seem pretty perfect to me, man. I mean, these guys are just being such Nazis. <laughs> I really believe in this godhood business. Right the godhood is the only hood for God, us. I shall know everything, be everywhere, rule everyone. Man, he just Join found the some underground lava, man. I know. They've never seen lava before. They think it's god sauce. <laughs> Don't be silly, Carla. You're not prepared for this. You're not. What? We shall see. Seriously? This is a, send me a postcard. I sent do the first one. Tell you what, Actually, let's all yeah, go no, home and die in bed. Like, I really I can't <laughs> tell you guys how much I want this to be an Indiana Jones role-playing game. Uh and what's like, what does like Indy I, say here, Sean? I think it's the first one. I think it's the first one or possibly the second one. Alright. Why is Tell he talking what. about dying Let's in bed? Let's all go home and die in bed. Because this I'm gonna use that more often at parties. <laughs> Tell you what. <laughs> We're scientists. We can't leave. We must test the machine. On here, make a fine volunteer. Wait, no. Wait, wait. Your plan? Your plan is Anyone's to make going to me a into god. a god? Is that your me. plan? You don't make me laugh. I am in charge of this operation, you spineless sausage! Did our our decisions meaningless? Is that what this is telling oh, us? I gotta say, uh <sighs> I'm not a eager to see the, the sausage with a spine? <laughs> I'd like one roasted spined sausage, please. Wait. Wait. What now, Charles? What what you know the German word for snake actually translates to spine sausage. Oh, oh. Total, you're gonna yeah. trick him into putting a hundred. Do it, oh. yeah, buddy. Then he's gonna Tenfold turn into error. ten gods. He's gonna turn into a ten times god, and he's gonna die from heart well, failure because his god error. size will be too much. Uh, what about, what about it? Oh. Um, ten. Way off target. Way off target. Yeah, way off target. Most of Plato's right, numbers yeah. are way off target. Hmm. Plato sucked at numbers. Because he was born with one finger. Maybe you're right. I'm maybe crazy. What? No. Oh, Try one bead. One bead it is. Why did we help him? Uh. We. It's working. <laughs> 
Oh my god. What the f Oh! oh Christ. What? A small bee for a small man, eh, Charles? Oh my and god. It's your turn. Uh what did he turn into before he melted? It was like a little old man. Like a animal. I'm pretty sure that it was the uh like the the um Oh fuck, what is that southwestern uh, animal armadillo. I think it's the armadillo from King's Quest 7. Oh, yeah. of course. That was an homage moment, actually, because we've been seeing nothing but fishy elephant men, and when I saw a goat, I was like, bad lore right there. This is the first crack I have seen in the tapestry you're weaving. All right, let me... No, thanks. Got Thank me. you, Sean. Thank you so much. You warmed my heart. Move, unless you want my men to move you. Kiss me, Sophia. Uh, no. Nope. The men who are standing way in the background on the other side of, like, big stone obstacles. And they both have short left arms. <laughs> they do. What makes you think you can outdo the old kids? What? I can't hear you. What? Science, my boy. We have it and say didn't. The sounds of madman. Like jump Here over goes. there and tackle him. And... Hang on a second. I've got an idea. You. What if this error went the other way? Do that. Listen. What if those errors went the other way? Did, did you save? Thing. Did we save ever? No. no really, really. Great. How do you mean? Indiana Jones oh, is the fate of the save <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> We're so fucked. <laughs> Dividing by mind. 10 didn't work, but multiplying might. By the way, this is exactly how the nutrition industry works. Dividing by 10 didn't work, but multiplying. <laughs> Alright, Chon, you decide. Fun. How many I'll turn you, you into a god, and then I'll stop you. <laughs> uh, 100 a beats. 100 beats. 100 beats. It's <laughs> gonna be works. amazing. Use the gonna uh, die. Let's hope you pick the correct amount. Because hope it's is what take, this puzzle's okay, based on. Wait, literally, the ending of this game is gonna be that you, he turns. Wait, wait, wait! Did they just skip like all those? They did. They skipped ninety-seven. Numbers. I just died in your arms tonight. Must have been some kind of. Indy, no. <laughs> <laughs> This is the best ending in the world! <laughs> you are kidding me! You are kidding me! Yeah! <laughs> it shut it itself to pieces! <laughs> you got the total indie quotient, man! You won! Oh you my did. god! You won the game! <laughs> Dude! Well, that's our show. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and load under too late now. Mm. All right. Can I just? I like. Let's just think about what happened there. Never go full indie. That's what I like. <laughs> um. You did it. All of these dialogue options are the same. All right. Oh. Dividing by ten didn't work, but multiplying might. There you go. Alright, Chon, you decide. How many beads should be used? Zero. Zero. None beads. Really? Uh, I'm gonna try 20 I beads. I wanna see. Beads. You're gonna turn into a slightly stuff. taller armadillo man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it comes. You're gonna just stay Indiana <laughs> Jones with only Eight one beads? change that only. What? You know, pre God 8? Pre God 9? 20 beads! What? Why did it say pre is, that your, is that your new uh, handle? Was that, is that a... Is that a typo? A scripting era? I think that was a scripting era. Error. Era. Indy, no! Oh, oh okay. you've turned into a slightly less <laughs> creeping. <laughs> oh, not again. Oh, man. Super similar to the last one. Except your Indy score is going to be lower. <laughs> it's going to be 100 times less. Yeah, because it was, it was not as smart. <laughs> Wait, seriously, it's the exact same ending? Uh-huh. Alright, let me... What, 
Yeah, you know, it turns out that after you get up b above 20 beads, it's just, such a just, wash. Okay, so, uh... I think Plato and Kerner were both wrong. I think Plato and Kerner were both wrong. Okay, so maybe it is 10. Well, no, but why? The ending All of the right, game is George, not they make you into a god. Time. How many beads should be used? Top one. Now is the time for Indiana Jones. Snarkas. Who cares Even though I already beads? saw it work it's once. I've seen it work twice. We actually died as a result. In oh, well, that case, true. let's try Plato's suggestion. And here we go. Eight. Nine. We got ellipsis. We got nine. So he, he just. He always skips the first 70%. Or. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all but the last three. Indy oh, you <laughs> kill every time! <laughs> oh my god. Like, god. So this was, this oh was literally like four hours before the deadline. They finally got to this room. Somebody was in charge of this. Oh boy, can I ever not hear that shit. Let's make a whole lot of dialogue options. Alright, well... Oh shit, it just restarts the game if, if you didn't have a save game spot. The game just reboots, the whole thing is restarted. Yep, I got it for. Alright! No beat, you no crazy fucking cheat. Come now, Doctor. Where's your scientific curiosity? Tackle him! Not a scientist, He's like... I'm an archaeologist! Let's talk this over. There's no time. There is what, time. What about, what about like, for you. your sake? There is nothing but time. No beans. Forget your stupid obsession. All right. Really, Dr. Jones, get a grip on yourself. Can we, can we convince, for your sake, can we convince him that, like, sake, if you turn work. me into a god, oh, yeah. this isn't going to go well for you? Why not? There it is. Right? Once like I'm a god. I'm sending you straight to hell. H E double hot. Yes, that is the thanks you get. I I dare you. Oh, I dare to use those beans. I uh, double uh, doggy uh, dare you. <laughs> that's if I can't. Your angry god. Mm. Wait, On. Perhaps I haven't thought this through. Yeah, you're a fucking idiot! Yeah, you're yeah, right. You want to go fast. You're scheming against me in spite of my generosity. Oh my god. The twist. Man, this Nazi Man, sure has a weird worldview. Okay, so. Prisoner's dilemma. Stand aside, John. Who's gonna put the beads in? <laughs> it's gonna be her. 99? Uh -oh. Get away from the lava. Prepare to feel my wrath. Ew, boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, he's us. <laughs> oh, nope, same one. Okay. All right. How, how's this gonna go? God, that hurts my ears every time. How? Indy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Of course, it's falling apart because that's what there. happens. I'm glad that the um. Did the other Nazis just die? Yeah, they just. I guess back. like they they happen to be in the way of that cave in. Well, Giving guys, you no agency here really does sort of take the right. out of it. I'm not doing I'm anything. I'm thinking about. Hurry, it's a set piece. Jesus Christ! I'm thinking about the like the um uh the first very first tutorial part of Uncharted 2, and like how exciting that is, even though it's totally scripted. Like there's no decisions for you to make, but it feels like really exciting to be climbing up that train. Yeah. 
Uh, it would have been super if this game was anything like that. Ah, uh, yes. A new island is born. And they called it Oahu. Is this, I feel like this is a, uh, you this know, is a, a lot James of my Bond discoveries ending. seem like tall tales, even to me. Well, that's not arrogant not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Hey, Sophia, not even at I believe how enormous my own penis is sometimes, but here it is. <laughs> then again, maybe not. You know, after. Oh, God, oh no. my God, make it. Her leg went up. To ease the pain. Oh, you sly raccoon. Ease the pain. Maroon County. Six what does it mean? No wait, 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 wait. We had a higher 609 total Why than last time. It was out of 589 before. Also, what's with these arbitrary numbers? And names. <laughs> I know! I know! Like, Can you feel the love tonight? Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, can we... Right, okay, so to... here's where we were... Okay, there's another ending, right? Like, Is there? We... I'm pretty sure... That seemed like the end, Sean. You think that wasn't the end? I Well, because I looked over chat and someone said, Well, you can't get the other ending now. Like... Stick close, kid. This could be... What other ending? Oh, fuck. You're far away. Yeah, I'm a little bit far, but don't worry. I'm a door master. You know, while I try to hunt for another ending, we finish I'll the take game. My chances. We finish the game. We uh, we played through the video game, and uh, I I think we did it. We did it. We did it. And he says, "Whoops! <laughs> Thank God! Thank fucking God!" Um, I up okay. Over there. So um. Gosh, this game, guys. Hey, everybody in chat seems to believe there's no other ending. There's no other ending? Boom! Boys, let's talk about this game. All right, all right so... Wait. So, all right, I closed it. I was I, I closed it so eagerly that now... Did you I'm, really? Now I'm excited to just freak the chat out. Okay, good. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> What is that time? Oh, oh Sean. Nice. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, right. I don't, want, I don't want to tell you how turned on I am right now. But. <laughs> I made my head... I made my head very big. Hold on, let me... Let me get back into Bill's room really fast and come back here. Again. Come on in into my body and possess me. <laughs> like a ghostly flying man around the room. <laughs> it's time for your probably your renders. All you need is a hinge pin and a scepter. And a handful of beads, and determination. Hey, Bill. Is this weird enough? Hi. Hey. Hey, red eyes. Sorry. Ow. So, Ow. you know, I I wanna I wanna begin my analysis of Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis by spending some time attacking myself for a moment here, because throughout okay, Indiana Jones, I've done something that I just I think is it's not justified. I mean, has it been on camera? Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so I I I have been taking the proverbial shit on some of the puzzles in this game, um, and I I feel like I mean I, I mentioned this before, but I feel like to a certain degree that's not actually a fair analysis of the right. quality of the development because frankly this is this is the sort of game that I feel like is unfairly difficult to make because. If you, if you, like, okay, so in any game, you, you have scaling difficulty, right? Like, in a game like Dark Souls, theoretically, the enemies get harder and more difficult to deal with. But you're sure. better at the game, so it's totally fine. But how do you make puzzles harder in an adventure game? You kind of need to make them feel harder to sort of match the climax, kind of. I mean, that's like an intuitive thing to think. But Atlantis just... The experience was really negative because of how much, how, how far the distances were. I mean, that was by far the hardest puzzle. And it's not like they didn't know what they were doing because yeah. in the early puzzles, it said here is an extremely limited, tight compartment. You can be on the streets and find Alain Trottier, or you can be in the hotel room. That's it. You aren't even allowed to go anywhere else. 
okay. solve that puzzle. And then it sends you to Crete, and then you're not allowed to do anything else. And then you're in Atlantis, and I was allowed to go all the way back to the damn U-boat. So, yeah. not to not to derail you, and and I actually derail think me. your point... I think your point does still stand, but um, one of the things that we sort of missed, and, and I... I, you know, I don't know how much time we're going to have, but I, I'd love to talk about some of the stuff that we missed in this game because it's really interesting. Well, then let's uh, do but it. One of, the things, one of the things we totally missed is that, like, we were supposed to go to Algiers in order to solve the puzzle in Morocco. Like, like we thought we were in this, like, little self-contained universe, but oh. we were actually supposed to leave... And go and do all of that like trading shit with the merchant and get so the mask come, and get the mask and come back and that's how we were supposed to solve that puzzle. That's right. So, yeah. For any who don't know what Sean's referencing, there was a thing where we had Alain Trottier up in the hotel room and we could put on a sheet and turn on a flashlight and come out, but it wasn't a compelling enough ghost outfit. We needed a mask that we literally could not get because we were not allowed to leave the area. Back to you, Sean. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's so. That's my whole point is that, like, actually, that we had this sense that there was a progression, and I think there is a progression, but um, but it's not as strong. It's not quite as linear and and as smooth as you're describing. Like, there definitely is. We started out with mm. this puzzle in the library, uh, where like you know we had to do some stuff or. I mean, that's not where we started out. We did start out in some, like, smaller, more confined spaces, yeah. and the spaces got larger. But it wasn't quite as smooth a progression as you're making it out to be. That's well, all I'm saying. Well, yeah, yeah, because, like, I'm, I'm saying this, and apparently Chad is stating otherwise, but, like, I thought that we literally could not leave Monte Carlo. No, we, we could have talked to Sophia... I think it was by talking to Sophia, we could have said, like, uh, this is getting us nowhere. Let's try something else. And then we could have gone back and I gone to the other place. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. I was driving. Well, I had no idea. So this is another thing. And we've mentioned the hinting in this game several times. And, and I mm, talked about mm. in contrast to Sam and Max, which has, like, fantastic hinting and also dynamic hinting. So... Um, you can set a difficulty level. Oh my god, I love that fucking game. You can set a difficulty level in Telltale Sam and Max that says, uh, do you want uh, Max to give you hints or not? Like, you can play the game uh -oh. with no hints, or you can play it where after you get stuck for a little while, he'll tell you, like, hey, I'm pretty sure you're in the wrong place. You should go back to the U-boat and make a sandwich. Uh, and um, and th like that's a that that actually kind of ruins that for me though because it well, seems you like then you're playing off. easy mode which is lamo like well, like so oh no 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 what doesn't what 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 make it work for me is if you don't get to choose like if it just told you that after a while you know like it hinted you because otherwise you have to choose whether you're playing easy mode or legitimate mode you know then how do you say you beat the game like I don't know it's just I don't like well, when I mean, you have to it, choose when to you're on it easier, hard mode, you, 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 you sort of... Can you do it? No, I, 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 uh, uh, no, the, the Sam and Max does give you some pretty good hints, even if you're on hard mode. Yeah. Like, it's just that... I kind of agree with... I, I like the idea of the game sort of determining for you, because there's a couple of puzzles that click, and a couple of puzzles that don't click. Like, the walking across the lava thing... That clicked really fast, and there's a lot of puzzles that didn't did click that well. literally ever. They've never clicked for me. Oh, you should see me play Antichamber. That game, bam! I love <laughs> Antichamber, man. I believe uh, it. But, like, the, um, I do think that that's, that's kind of, like, the only way that you can present learning. Well, it really isn't. You know, there, there's a couple of, like, little things that some games have done in the in just the general adventure genre that I really like. Like, once an item will serve you no purpose, it's gone. Yeah. You don't get yeah. to use it anymore. At the end of that game, we had a bunch of beads, a map, a jar, a hose, a peg, a rib. We had all the world stones. We had, like, a, a, the wheel. We had a face. We had a crescent gear. We had so much stuff. And... All of it was useless. So I feel like, yeah. it, to a certain degree, it was a distraction. 
where yeah. when I was with Sophia, I would like try to give her something. She'd be like, I don't think that'll work. Try to give her something else. I don't think that'll work. Try to give her something else. I don't think that'll work. And after I tried literally what I had, with one of them, she said, I don't think that'll fit through the cage door. And I was like, whoa. Now that is a hint, but it's a hint that's the result of brute forcing that I don't feel like the player should have to do. Like, yeah, no, totally. Oh, I agree. I, I have a question here that ties into that, which is the following. What tropes are we seeing here? Not just how, not just the interface and stuff, but what tropes of the actual narrative are more from the uh, adventure game side than the Indiana Jones side? Because one of oh. them is the only reason, like 99% of the usefulness of an object is its shape and how sturdy it is. Right. <laughs> And well, there's, it's a huge collection of rods and holes, and you just stick them into each other until one of them turns a lever or something. Turns into a lever. That actually is amazing. Yeah, that's a that's a fantastic point, Bill. Like, there's there's a lot of this game that is based not on the like conceptual, uh, like like a ship rib as a ship rib. Like, we yeah. never use a ship rib to build a ship. Like, that's right. what you would think yeah. you would use it for. Uh, there's a lot of using objects, like, just for their material properties. And and I don't, I'm, I wonder, like, I don't, is that common in adventure games? I feel like I've played adventure games that were more about the sort of, like, the conceptually objects being used. Well, I mean, I felt like we had a good bit of that in King's Quest Seven. Again, for yeah. as much as as much as it was fun to tease King's Quest Seven about that in sort seven of or stuff, six like, in six six sorry six 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. For, for as fun as it was to tease about that, like you know, you have part of a sentence, yeah, and it's very clear that you're not gonna go to the Minotaur and give him part of a sentence. There was other bullshit like as you're lost in the maze, there's really valuable items that you need to finish the game with, but uh, you know. With so many of the items, it was pretty clear like a potion that you can pour on yourself to turn you invisible. It felt that there was there was a, a quiet hinting there that like it actually, yeah, it actually so, stayed so with. So let's talk about affordances. Okay, please. Right? Let me let me look this up. Actually, you guys riff afford. Design. <laughs> no, I'm taking away your MFA. Um, all right, all right, all right. The interactive design foundation. Blah blah blah. Affordances. No, I don't want this ad. Uh, okay, the term affordance refers to the perceived and actual properties of the thing, primarily those fundamental properties that determine just how the thing could possibly be used. Affordances provide strong clues to the operation of things. Plates are for pushing. I guess he means like door plates. Knobs are for turning. Slots are for inserting things into. Balls are for throwing or bouncing. Sorry. When affordances are taken advantage of, the user knows what to do just by looking. No picture, labor, or instruction needed. So. A lot of this game is about affordances, and a lot of the affordances that they chose to go with are based on the material and shape of the object, rather than a more yeah. Indiana Jones kind of thing about it, right? Yeah. Well, is that, I mean, is there some something fundamentally Indiana Jones? Like, I see. I disagree. I think Indiana Jones is not about solving adventure style puzzles. I think Indiana Jones is about uh, is about like like research indiana jones is about like i you know i know enough about this trapped temple to to be able to spot oh, where yeah. the traps are right and then right and then actually frankly there is some like i'm going to use the material properties of this pole to like trigger a trap before i'm supposed to or whatever yeah but 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 i didn't get a sense of that i didn't get a feeling that like I'm Indiana Jones. I know so much shit about not these, at like, all, dude. I think that right? was the hardest disconnect for me is that the yeah. when you are put in a game as a character, you kind of it's important for you to feel like you get to be the character for a little bit. What sucks is when you feel like you are doing a shitty job being the character. Yeah. Like, in God of War, you can just mash oh. buttons, and you're amazing. Oh, my God, Oh, yes. and, it, and it's saying combo, and stuff's exploding, and they're like, It is Kratos, the son of blah! Who is it, you're Zeus? So yeah. good. Oh, you're so Oh, yeah. you're just, you, and then you button mash on easy, and kill a guy, and you rip his head off. And you're like, yep. yeah, I'm really kind of a god slayer. And then in this... 
You're Indiana Jones, this renowned archaeologist, and you see things on a wall, and you go to Sophia, who's a psychic, and you say, I don't know what do the inscriptions mean. She's like, I don't know, they seem to be <laughs> drawings. And you and they're labeled as graffiti. <laughs> Like, yeah. you know, and, and then we get yes. stuck and we're wandering around and I feel like an idiot where I'm like busy putting gum into a rib cage so I can trap a crab <laughs> that I don't feel like Indiana Jones at any point. And I think that that is early on. I kind of did early on. I sort of got into the, the role of the character, yeah. especially with the dialogue options. Yeah. So let's compare this to the way that Arkham City or Arkham Asylum makes you feel like Batman. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm literally Batman. When I play <laughs> yeah, no, totally. A hundred percent. Right? So I, so there's I, ways to do it better, right? And yeah. I think the way you do it better is you look at what they do in the canon and then you do that. Well, okay, I mean like let's <laughs> let's just say so you're not wrong. Uh, I mean let's just frankly these games, and I know they're beloved, and, and there's a reason that they're beloved, and, and there's very cool stuff in this game uh, that, you know, honestly, a lot of it we didn't get to see. Um, but it is uh, it is a bad Indiana Jones game, and I think yeah. it left a vacuum for Indiana Jones games, and that's why we have Lara Croft and Nathan Drake. Like, we didn't... It, it took more than one multi-game... Triple A award winning character franchise <laughs> to fill the void left by the LucasArts Indiana Jones game. I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 just man, took the neck. Everybody who worked on this oh. game is just spinning in their graves. Oh my god, they're even still alive and they buried themselves <laughs> and they're know, in a coffin right. underground going, This sucks to be buried <laughs> Why alive. Am I, I hate alive? this. Why did I forget English? Okay. So, uh, so on Sorry, that note, can, that can we talk for one second about there? Like this game does a oh, lot of really can clearly cool talk for a very long time. <laughs> if, <laughs> if, if, if our Mondays are any are any measure of that, <laughs> we, the, Jesus. So this game experiments with structure in really interesting ways, and I have to give it credit for being an earlier game. Like obviously, adventure games have been around for longer now, and so they're more settled. Um, but one of the things that it does is it. It has these, like, it, in at least two places, it's got these weird, the game is going to randomly choose a puzzle and or solution for you, and then you've got to figure out, like, which puzzle you're trying to solve. And I'm thinking about, like, in the university where we had to find the Dunlop collection, which, yeah. had, which turned out to be inside of a cat statue, but there were, like, sure. four other places that were obviously puzzles that we were trying to solve because they're puzzles and that's what you do in an adventure game is you try to solve the puzzles uh and and i so i i just wanted to talk about like what was what was the point of that how did it what was the experience of that i have this sense that it's built in there for replayability like like if i go and play indiana jones a second time it's yeah. Gonna be different. Yeah. Yeah. You no. Know. Because I mean, they also <laughs> have the, the they have their playthroughs where you can go with your wits or with your strength, and those are drastically different yes, playthrough versions. Totally. Totally. Absolutely. So, like, what's the? Is there? You're supposed to play through the whole goddamn game again. That's the problem, <laughs> right? That's the problem with dynamically generated content is that no one has the time to play your <laughs> stupid game more than once so your dynamically generated content <laughs> is actually true, just well. watered down content That's that should have been authored except for games like minecraft where it just happens to be a lifelong hobby and you like have to really so if you're gonna make dynamic content buddy you better make it like a paint program where people can go in and get creative forever and not get sick of it but well, don't have, like, three branching paths, because, like, I don't know. Well, well maybe know, back I, in the day, people only had one video game at a time for, like, I, an entire yeah, year. I disagree. Like, and their I, dad came home from the butcher shop on Christmas, and he's like, I got you, kid, I, kid, I got you something. And, you know, it's like the kid has an Indiana Jones box, and he for that sheds year. a single tear, because his dad doesn't know how to, you know, like, express affection, <laughs> except they're getting in this game and it's for windows because they can't afford a mac or like their dad's like macs are for fancy kids and, <laughs> yeah. you know 
Bill, you're very funny and very snarky, but I'm going to disagree with you 100%. I mean, like, there, there are, <laughs> you should just say and. <laughs> I have played I have played games that are way more ridiculous than this more than three times. Like, uh, I, oh, you, okay. I mean, I, you know, and, and maybe you haven't, but to say that there's nobody who has time to, like, play... Uh, to play this game, uh, you know, I, I, we had an experience, and the the time that we're like, you know, the the moment in time where we're playing this game, yeah, this is not cutting edge anymore. Like we, we see a lot of rough edges, uh, but at the time that it came out, people loved this game, and people definitely played it three times, like no question. Like that, that I, happened. I think, like they they, I think they built the game for an audience that was there. You know, I, I feel like the with the idea of replayability is good in a game. Like it's it's a way of delivering extra value, like delivering two games to someone at the cost of one in a certain degree. Okay. And I think it's been modernized where you know you'll have Mass Effect you can choose different classes to go through the game with. You get a different experience, but they really don't have to do anywhere near the amount of content creation there. I think that the thing if if this was a beautifully done game, like mm -hmm. start to finish, we loved every bit of the puzzles, that would be a great thing. We'd compliment the idea of the additional branches. But I, I think like to a certain degree, when I view it from Bill's lens as like, you know, the, the extra paths, if if one of the paths you chose, you ended the game with, and you're like, that experience was weird. It makes you want to say, like, well, don't do the other paths two and three, man. Fix path one. Right, yeah. Make yeah. it a good path one. Like, I have no problem with branching paths or DLC or any of any additional content for a through line in a game. But I think, like, in, in, at, at its core, this game eventually stopped presenting to us what the puzzle was. Yeah. There was a point where we, we sort, like, I, you heard me relish at the start. When yeah. there was the guy, the guy was the stage manager who was hunched over and is like, "You got, <laughs> you got to turn on the levers." No, not yet. Oh, she can go on for hours. It was telling us what we had to do, right? It yes, was like, yes. Anytime we did anything, it was like, "Stop! You need to listen to more story. Stop! Here's some more story." Okay, now I got to operate the ghost, and you're like, "Oh, okay. You know what the goal <laughs> is," and he says, "Hey, I'm not gonna let you touch that." And it, it, you, you immediately become aware that the goal is this, and he's the obstacle. Done. And the idea of goal obstacle is something that, like, all fiction writers are told they have to do in screenwriting or novel writing. Uh. And that in most games, is it, it's almost so obvious, you don't even think about it. You see, the, you see the door that has the gray mist in Dark Souls, and you know the boss is on the other side, and there's two huge tower knights. Here's the obstacles, and that's the goal done right and it's a, it, it's it's so clear or in mario you starting at left and you got to go right until it ends you know what the goal is it's the right it's so clear and in this i have a cup and a hose and a ladder and i'm in atlantis and i keep running away from the same nazi i don't know what my <laughs> goal is and i feel like when you have this huge thing you know if if she had said something like you need to find something sturdy and steely to prop up this cage with. I'm then gonna start it looking for so much more fun, <laughs> right? Well, at least I it would have been a guide. Different. I think that like it, it it it's not the one puzzle that was horrible. It's like death by a thousand cuts at that point. Well, and and I actually I'm I would argue that it would have been a lot more fun. And and I'm oh, I, I wasn't kidding. No, I'm serious. Yeah, I no, think it would have been a lot more fun. Right. It would have been Here's fun. We're in agreement with each other, goddammit. <laughs> like, we should make a game, and we should raise Kickstarter for it, and we'll get $10,000, and then we won't. So, Sean, Sean, one thing that I want to point out... Is this... <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, I find this, like, really super weirdly interesting. Um, mm. This is... Th we're not just talking about, like, three parallel tracks of content like pick a door one two or three and you're going to go on a random parallel track of content we took the teamwork track uh right isn't that what it said like you could oh my be god yeah or you could be smart or you and thank god we didn't do smart because we would 
Oh my god. Um, <laughs> but we took the teamwork track, and and I'm I'm frustrated that teamwork turns out to have meant like Sophia's gonna follow you around, and you're gonna need to save her, and she's gonna be really catty the whole time, and like she's you're not gonna help each other. You're just gonna argue, and then you're gonna kiss her at the end. Yeah, like, don't worry, you get makeouts. I, Wait, like, so do you not get Sophia at the end in the other ones? Is it just Indy I, on a I, sub watching the sunset? I don't I know. Literally you, know. Here's you, my, here's my you, you made okay. out on the U-boat that you're still driving with the plunger. <laughs> 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 you're watching the volcano. You're like, hold on, let me go up. <laughs> I go to service <laughs> level. Put your heel up, right sweetheart. Now, it, isn't the U-boat still full of Nazis? It's full of a whole bunch of Nazis Dude, they're, from... they're all in the stern. <laughs> they're in the stern position. Um, I, like... <laughs> I am really disappointed that when we chose... I want this to be a game about teamwork. There was there no was, teamwork! There was no teamwork! Oh, there was no, no! like, we're gonna help each other out. No. We sent them to the stern. They're going to stay there until the day they die. I hope they send food to the stern soon. Because we were told to be here by the captain that sounded pretty American at the time. <laughs> the floor of the stern is just full of urine. It's just... I love the idea that before we got on that U-boat, no one could drive it because there was there was just a slot with no plunger in it. Oh, all right, so so we've been going for an hour. We still have to do our special, extra special playthrough of 905. Okay, I want to know, Bill, give me your final concluding thoughts on Indiana Jones. Well, I'm sorry, but I was cracked up by the stupid chat who quoted me as saying $10,000. It's okay. It's okay. I know English is your second language, Bill. <laughs> and, and the first time was when you first tried to learn English. I know that this English is, <laughs> is my ten hundred thousandth language. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> oh boy. Oh, Anyways, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I'm glad it's over. I, I I don't know what that says about things. I know that my friend Joe Joe used to like it as a kid, and now we're just glad it's over. <laughs> This is what will destroy all art in the end, is uh, the taste improves more quickly than the than the craft. <laughs> Until there's just... Yeah, I think uh, it was well, Ira Glass. Okay, can I just who's... say, well, I'll just say one, one quick thing, one quick thing. Yeah, Bill, please, we've been watching. Sh we've been watching shitty Christmas movies. Okay. Uh, right? And they're all terrible Christmas movies. But the problem is this. They're all shot beautifully. Because Los Angeles is now full to the brim of directors of photography who are each complete, perfect masterpiece artists. Mm -hmm. To the extent that even the shittiest script is shot like the most gorgeous photograph. And therefore, like, uh, I don't know what it is. It's like we're, we're going to have bad art well, with great craftspeople. Okay, but why... Does that make sense? Is what am I saying? Is it the difference between art and craft? Is that what you... I don't know. Like, I don't know why, what it is. But I think Los Angeles full to the brim of top-notch writers. Wait. <sighs> holy shit. Trying I'm trying to, trying to make a closeout, guys. We've been going for an hour. <laughs> guys, <laughs> what do you mean the difference between <laughs> art and craft? I gave you each a minute. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Bill, what are your final thoughts on Indiana Jones? Uh, Bill, you know, uh, thanks, Christmas Bill. Movie, Sean, uh, what's your thoughts? Game, <laughs> kind of shitty. I don't know. That's it. <laughs> Take it home. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Okay. Sean, it's your turn, man. Okay. So, oh. um... <laughs> I really, guys, I really, really, really wanted to be Indiana Jones in this game. Oh. I don't feel like let me be Indiana Jones. Like, I, I wanted this to be a role-playing game. And maybe if, if like, we had chosen different dialogue options, I could have felt like I was role-playing a little bit. But it, it, it's fundamentally, like, what... <sighs> How does this game use interactivity to capture the experience of Indiana Jones? I don't know that it did. And and that's disappointing to me. And so like as uh as wonderful as this game is as a like 
uh, structural experiment in in interactive narrative. Um, I feel like it it is it is representative of a time before uh, this art becomes timeless. And I don't know that we're in a place where like games are timeless now. I don't know that twenty years from now people aren't going to be looking back at today's games and no, laughing every, just as hard. Every, every yeah. two years, every game will look awful. But but eventually, we are going to get to a place where we're creating like timeless works. We're creating I, you know classical. Well, music. okay, so I'll throw one thing out there. Mist, if you go back and play it, still feels it's amazing. Good. It's good. Still feels amazing. Yeah. So yep. I I will I will say that Indiana Jones still keeps a fond place in my heart for all the frustration I expressed. One of my favorite parts about adventure games is being frustrated and eventually okay. breaking through and that sensation is something I relish so much. I think it did not age well. I think a lot of the puzzles were missing, but I think it serves one of the most important pieces or important uh, places in any medium, which is the first person to try something that everyone else learns from. It yep. tried to combine the feel of a cinematic movie with the mechanics of an adventure game and just showed how many ways there are to just... Uh, how many points of pain there are. Where, like you said, Sean, we didn't get to be indie because indie's smart, and we felt real dumb because we didn't realize that we had to take the sandwich and put it in the rib cage to get the crab. And that didn't feel good, but still, I it holds that special place in my heart because it is again that sort of underappreciated stepping stone to improve the medium as a whole. So I'm going to pretend we're going to close this out, but remember we're going to be back right after this because I want to show everyone 905 because it's amazing. So we'll be right back, but because we're closing Indiana Jones, my name's Sean Plot, and I'm Bill Grainer, and I'm Sean Bouchard, and we're all hosts. <laughs> and we finish watching or playing through Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. We'll be back with our end of the year closeout. We're hosts, man. And we're on a break. <laughs>